Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak, this is Let's Play Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. In the first, in the last episode we got barely through two chests because one of them was a very deadly box full of uh, AoE spamming monsters, although I guess they're mechanical and they're more robots really, but still, trying to get through without any losses was actually very difficult. Maybe I should have gone back to the Tito one because I almost won with that one I just messed up at the last minute. I should also probably rearrange this group because, uh... I've put them in the wrong order. So the thing about enemies around here is that the big tanking ones are indeed very high defense but very low arts defense, but since they keep cancelling arts, that doesn't help much, does it? Tactics. Battle position. And we've actually almost run out of our arts, so... Whoops, I've got to backtrack now. Hang on, do the enemies around here not respawn? I'm beginning to suspect that's the case. Right, we can heal here. Once more, unto the breach. Oh no, he respawned. I guess it's just a matter of the augment recharge station rather than... ...leaving the room. Oh, you know, after all the effort we went to get it, we never did find out what that thing was. Magister. Ancient orbital weapon that fires powerful energy bursts. Happy birthday! Broken piece uh, resists poison, petrify, and sleep. Poison, petrify, and sleep. Although I've also seen them resist insta kills. These ones resisting against the kills I already knew about, they also resist everything else, that's annoying. But who knows, maybe we'll get a chance to beat on them for quartz so that we can afford some more... Beat on them for some seventh so we can afford more quartz. And I'm paranoid now. Found Tira Bomb. Too late! We're going to need 20 different chests in this place. On the upside, maybe we'll be able to afford those EP cut quartz. Stranger things have happened.
They certainly seem to be dropping a lot. Found Celestial Balm. This chest has been picked clean. Fourth chest. I'm very paranoid. I had to check. Oh, great! Just what we didn't want! Time, damn it. Let me show you the true essence. Okay, I need to intercept the snippet turn, so Chloe's on standby.
I should probably start thinking about what the ideal party would be, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. Obviously we have to keep a cell on Joshua because the pot says so, but Chloe almost definitely because I need her ability to debuff completely. But what else would there be? ability to make people go almost instantly is actually very nice, especially if everyone is packed nice and close together. Although these guys are showing why being packed close and nice and close together isn't the best thing. Hmm. Tita has really good AoE, but the thing is, her best claim to fame is the smoke grenade, and unfortunately, so many enemies are turning out to be immune to smoke grenade, that's annoying. Oh, uh, what else would there be? Yeah, we're definitely going to need the EP Cut 3 by the time we're done here. Like this is a very interesting difficult a bit of difficulty. It's not that these guys are actually complicated to fight, they're just really tank they're annoyingly tanky. Found Daedlasan. You've returned to the scene of the crime, I see. Fifth chest. I had a feeling. Arcane Gauntlet which it transforms according to need. Wait, this is an elevator? I didn't want to go through it.
we're just tanky enough that we can't hit three round them. We need all four people to land a hit. Enjoy the show. Okay, this has to be. This one looks different. What is it? Uses sound waves that affect status? Disgusting. can at least get them to break up their attack patterns. I'll give Joshua's S-Craft that plus strength turn. Just isn't dying. And they keep calling for backup, so that's doubly annoying. We should at least be able to get a sh sh to shield that attack so they shouldn't steal our quartz. Oh, I could knock it out. That works too. Thank you. 
weren't able to stop that one though. Joshua's almost out of EP. But on the upside, we do have lots of money. So we can always just buy all the EP Charge X that the Professor has. So I can't help but feel like we've actually missed out. We lost more. Right, we go. lost more separate than we earned thanks to them getting that turn. I guess 70 isn't bad. Found Royal Guard. The chest mocks you with its emptiness. Here we go. Men only. Armor worn by knights of old, lauded for its total defense. I mean, Joshua is the one that sticks in the party, so we might as well give it to him. Okay, the chest mocks me. That's sixth chest. Oh, Joshua actually got a full EP heal because of the level up. That's nice. This is not. Oh. What did you expect to find in here? Monsters. Lots and lots of monsters to waste my time. That's a seventh chest. Here we go. That's what I was expecting. Problem. 
He's going to interrupt. Yeah. So now he gets off the free hit. to break them up is the important point. Yeah, I think it's going to be Chloe and Shira for our final party because I desperately want Shira's ability to make people go sooner. They're going to interrupt her, but if they have to spend two attacks, if they have to spend two of their attacks to push her, her out of this attack, then that's fine. Go ahead. Oh. I... I screwed that up, didn't I? I aimed both of my earth balls at the wrong person. These aren't particularly difficult, they're just really tank- they're just really slow and annoying to defeat, which apparently is a thing that this game is known for getting when you- roughly about the time you fight those three thugs on the Tetraslip Tower. Take. All right. 
Good to go. They do give AP charge X, that's nice. Found the Nine Tails. You already got the treasure, don't be greedy! Eighth chest. Until next time guys, take care, I'll see you all around.